what's up? Tyler from Plugged On. I'm here with an album review. This time I'm going to talk about the new album from the band Gruesome, entitled Twisted Prayers. It's their second album, and uh, this is on Relapse Records. And uh, if you don't know Gruesome, they are, I guess, an old school inspired death metal band. Uh, their inspirations are very much the band Death. You know, the legendary band Death. Um, it, it, the band has Matt Harvey on vocals, Matt Harvey uh, on guitar and vocals, Matt Harvey, vocalist of Exhumed, another incredible death metal band. Um, and, and overall, I just think there's a lot of talent in this band. And, and I, you know, I, I knew of this band. You know, they put out their first album, they put out an EP. Um, I listened to them here and there, but I never really fully got into them until they put out um, A Waste of Life, which was the first single off of this new album and I listened to it and I went wow why did I ignore this band so much um this album is incredible this is one of my favorite death metal albums I've heard in a long time and this is by far one of my favorite albums of the year in my opinion I know I'm a little bit later on this one this came out June 1st I believe just never got around to it but I I just I, I can't stop listening to this album it excites me so much that I, I want to tell you about it um, yeah, if you like Death, you will absolutely like this album. Uh, th there's so many just incredible Death-inspired moments and riffs in just overall sound. Um, right away with, like, Inhumane, you know, you'll, you'll hear right there. And I'm talking, like, um, spiritual healing slash human era death, in my opinion, um, you know, there, there's a lot of just incredible riffs on here, whether it's the, um, to just really just weird playing a bunch of weird notes in a weird pattern sounding stuff, something a little bit slower or something that, uh, has a lot of melody to it or something that, uh, has nice speed to it. Um, but with that speed comes simplicity in a way. Um, but it's still just incredibly heavy. It gets your fucking brain going. You know? Your head bobbing. I like it. And, you know, also the drum work on here is just top notch. From, um, Gus Rios. Uh, he... The drum work just goes back to this old school style death. And, and you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that of, like... Let's just make new music that's very much inspired by death. We love death. Let's let's keep it going, man. Um, and and I, I really don't think there's anything wrong with that. Because to me, there's not a lot of death metal bands out there that are still trying to be like death. And like they were. Um, and, and so, like I said, I don't feel there's anything wrong with it. And, and there's so many just awesome moments on here. Like, one of my favorite tracks on here is Crusade of Brutality. I love the opening to that. I love the... The weird guitar lead to start it off, but I love the guitar solo and then, you know, the guitar lead later on in this song because it, it just reminds me so much of why I really love the solos in Death. You, you, It's just incredibly well written, and then the rhythms underneath are just kind of straight chords. Everything just goes together so well, um, and, and that that's just a highlight to me. Fatal Illusions is one that I love. I think that one has kind of sums up this band in a way, uh, especially like the second riff that's all kind of goofy, but then it gets really fast. It, it's cool. It, and there is a lot of stop and start in a way with the songwriting, which I think could maybe turn somebody off in that like they have a riff, they play it for a decent amount of time, but then it's like, stop, next riff, stop next riff you know they, they have some sort of transition there but a lot of times sometimes it is kind of a hard stop and like vocals or or the the riff just starts by itself just one guitar or something like that uh you know they do that a lot but that's something that death did a lot and i don't think it's a it's a bad thing at all um for sure um so overall you know i i think this is a great album and, and i think from the drumming department to all of the riffs uh, into the vocals even. I think this is a great performance from Matt Harvey. I like that he definitely sounds different in this, uh, in this band than he does in Exhumed. It's totally, two totally different, uh, vocal performances. And I know Exhumed also, you know, 
uh, Matt Harvey and their basses go back and forth a lot on vocals too, and they just have a totally different style. And I love that he's just cranking out just two totally different styles of death metal that are just top notch. Because I loved Exhumed's last album from last year, Death Revenge. It's amazing, and uh, I think this is this is no different. There, there's so many moments on here that just get me going. A waste of life. You know, just kind of cra- ridiculous stuff like, fuck you, you're a piece of shit, fuck yo, it's like, okay, um, but it's heavy, I like it, um, just makes me happy to hear, hear this sort of style, Twisted Prayers, man, that, that's the song to me that, that might be the most death-like, uh, there is so many moments on there that I swear it's like they heard an un- unreleased demo from death and was like, let's take all those riffs. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with that. It, it makes me so happy every time that opening riff starts. I'm like, oh my god, yes, this is so good. Um, and also, I love that this this uh, album is only eight tracks long because it is a pretty long album for only having eight songs. All these songs have a lot of meat on the bone, a lot to, a lot to chew on. So overall, it's fucking fantastic. Check it out. Gruesome, Twisted Prayers, 9 out of 10 for me. Like I said, it's one of my favorite albums of the year. Thanks for watching. See you.